See the stuff in the middle. Well, okay, no. The next one in the middle. Smaller. Okay, one more. And one more. Can I have no. Don't. Expand properly. Always find support on the palatal first. Expand. Go here. That's it. Very stable. I, I'm more confident that you will not. Boom. Boom. Everything in place. Okay. Um, come here, please. Hold. One finger here, one finger here. Hold it. So, if you notice there is a tension from the lip, I will just... See? Now it's more flexible. So all these tiny, small effects, small things you should consider. For example, detaching from this corner, I detached it. Here is detached, so then the sheet is not so tense. I will reattach it after I manage the floss picture. Four hands. It's, I find it impossible to work without the nurse. Okay. Now, give me. Okay, so she's holding the two hands with two hands, and I'm holding the loop. I grab with two fingers from here, and only one finger from here like this. Why? Because when I insert it, I have good grip. With two fingers, I can't. One finger, the knot is tensioned. Boom. And look what I'm doing. I'm reversing. Okay. Because I'm holding here and I just have to make sure either me or the assistant will, will drag from this part. I'm just holding the Okay, you noticed it's already in the sulcus. And then I take over one side, one side, one side. If I notice that it's slipped away from the sulcus, I will just push it back. And then I take one end, move it towards the palatal. While I'm still squeezing, and this will offer me actually a better chance to squeeze, yeah? Because I'm not in this area, I'm, I have room. To the other end, towards the palatal. Okay, because the only purpose of me attaching this part is was to reduce the tension. Which is actually good to do because sometimes you are doing restorations on the less molar. And if the tension is too much from here to the clamp, it's bringing the teeth towards the mesial. So you have tight contacts when you try to deliver the onlays which might be okay in the trying phase where you don't have the rubber dam and then when you put the rubber dam you notice that you cannot insert them or you have a class 2 you clean everything, you do a class 2 restoration it's perfect with the rubber dam on then you remove it, this tooth will go back and you have open contact and you don't know why so that's why even when you insert the sheet you should come from the middle of the mouth and go there this is where I did actually the most fast when I'm inserting
you see? He's not over the rubber dam. Always have a look on the other side not to catch the shit. See, I'm dragging. I have, uh, the soft tissue is still retracted. I have access to the surface. Okay. Oh. If I remove the sheet, it's quite hard. Because the surface is relaxing, maybe it's bleeding. It's already dark. The lip is covering the area. And I make sure I remove all. I place here, here, and here. That's it. Here I didn't place anything. And I just retract from this side. Give me gauze, please. The atmosphere, okay? To prevent the airborne contamination. Because now when you remove it, it will click. If I have the gauze here, it will block your shit. Oh, I'm stuck with that. Oh, my. 